Well, it's been a, a great start. I mean, it's been just fantastic for the musicians. That's been something that's been memorable for me as well, the way that the musicians have really thoroughly enjoyed, for a lot of them, revisiting core repertoire like Beethoven symphonies one, two, and three. So that's been fantastic. But equally, I think we've been thrilled how the music has Gerald Barry has sat alongside it and then the audiences and the critics' reaction. So it's an extraordinary uh, beginning to a journey and we can't wait till next year doing um, four, five and six. I mean, I think the, one of the exciting things that we knew was going to be exciting was, was working with Thomas Addes, who's, who's a kind of really a friend of the orchestra and a great collaborator. But as we hoped, hearing what this great composer of our time, who's also a wonderful conductor and pianist, incidentally, and we played some chamber music with him, but hearing what he's got to say and has got to bring to Beethoven, it's been very exciting. And it's been like, um, I mean, hearing the Eroica felt like I was hearing a world premiere. Um, and it did with Symphonies 1 and 2 as well. And I think that's what's been so exciting, is the kind of freshness and newness and the relevance that uh, Thomas Addes has brought to Beethoven. I think, I think that what I, what I was su possibly surprised about, on paper, I could see why Barry and Beethoven would work together. But actually, I mean, practically orally hearing it together has been um, uh, a real revelation. I mean, hearing Chevaux de Fries this crazy, brutal piece by Gerald Barry um, as a, a prelude almost, a, a vicious prelude to the Eroica. Seeing the Eroica, or sorry, hearing the Eroica in that context um, was very, very illuminating.